the best thing about being a real life superhero it's gotta be the costumes making masks is great the whole process just starts with an idea everyone's got two sides the side that they show everyone and the side that they really are sharp angles or rounded curves all this really retains to the person's personality slowly once the mask is made we can modify from the drawing to actual 3D life and start putting the costume together. On my doctor's advice, I stopped drinking. Six months later, out of pure boredom, I was wearing spandex and started up being a superhero. Finding yourself in this whole thing, it's all new for everybody. So I finally end up going with Insignis. Insignis is Latin. It means the mark of or a symbol. Well, that's perfect, because this way I can keep modifying my, my costume or suit, whatever you want to call it, into anything I want. There's a certain look to it that I keep, but it always modifies, it always changes. Black Money Society started back in 2006. The very first patrol was with Ghost. Maybe a month later, we start getting new members. When we started out, there was two of us, and now we've grown to about eight, nine people. Through the tattoo shop, we meet a lot of people. So it was kind of like tattoo shop worked as like a recruiting center. I've been here at Frankie since about a week after the doors opened. My BMS tattoo is actually located right here on my arm. Everyone in the Black Bunny Society, after about three to four patrols, they get the BMS tattoo of their choice. Mikey here got one. He wanted to go above and beyond. <laughs> Yeah. This is the crew back about two years ago in my old priest outfit. And here's Asylum, Mikey, in his old straitjacket outfit. There's Ghost, who's still with us when the founding fathers. Haw, the uh, last laughter of clownness, he's no longer involved and neither is Oni. They decided to go their own ways and do other things. Man, the Black Monday Society is so cool. I actually accidentally stumbled upon him online. The Black Monday Society is a is an established group of real-life superheroes here in Salt Lake. Red Voltage, Dark Owl, and Professor Midnight are independent superheroes out of Salt Lake City. They're not affiliated, like part of the Black Monday Society, but we just started teaming up with them lately and going on patrols. And Cygnus has been doing it since 06, so he's been doing it for a long time. And these guys just have some great, great advice for us. He uh, kind of watches out for the new guys and takes care of us. There are some nights you may not want to patrol, or you need a little motivation, and, and he's there. I think Red Voltage in time will end up being able to become a, like, a great leader and just be a really good social commentary for who and what we are. I am doing this for the good of mankind. I'm doing this to inspire people. Dark Owl is great. He has raw enthusiasm. I hope to take it far enough that maybe uh, even possibly the crime rate goes down in this city. Professor Midnight walks, talks, acts just like we do on patrol. I prefer to stay anonymous uh, because I am a public educator and I teach children. We're actually breaking in two new members tonight, which have been waiting forever and a day to go out. It's Devil's Night and Omen. Tonight will be my first time on patrol. I've been waiting to do it for about a year now. I injured myself a while back and never was able to do it, so I'm really stoked to go. I'm excited, um, nervous. Don't know what's gonna go on exactly. Don't know what we're supposed to do, per se. We're gonna drop. You guys head down one? If you're doing something bad, and you see us coming, you're gonna stop what you're doing. Oh my god! <laughs> evening. If you're not doing anything bad, and you see us coming, you're gonna ask, get your picture taken with us or something. You have, like, no fear of us. We're actually just watching the city, hoping to keep it, you know, keep an eye out. So if anybody's in need, you know, we'll help them out. So Chicago is all dirty. That's what we are. Bill and I have been friends for years. Good, good. Have a good night. Let's have a good night. And just by us cruising through, I think we stop a lot of stuff. Did I ever mess with bars on the inside? They have their security. They get really offended when you step in. But if those said drunk people go down the street and cause problems, then they're ours. Someone said you got to wear a cape, a mask, a suit. What did you guys think of your first patrol? Well, the first fun? patrol was pretty fun. 
you're not you anymore. You don't have your electric bill. You don't have your car payment. I thought I saw something behind a dumpster, so I just went kind of through the alleyway and looked behind the dumpster to make sure there wasn't anything going on. But nothing, so it was good, a quiet night. You don't have any of the problems in your life. You're a completely separate identity. You get to go out there and help someone, and they're going to be genuinely pleased with you. Why wouldn't you want to do it?